China Space Station will be operational in 2022. It consists of a core module and two experimental modules and can dock with manned spacecraft and cargo ships. China Space Station isn't alone. The International Space Station has been orbiting for 23 years. It's a joint program involving 16 countries. The International Space Station is a joint construction uh, site that everyone, for example, if it's a four-bedroom house, that everyone build one bedroom. Uh, but Chinese Station is a, is a Chinese-owned station at this moment. The International Space Station has 16 modules, but the China Space Station only has three. The Tianhe core module is bigger than any single module on the ISS. It's 16.6 meters long, the equivalent of the height of a six-floor building. The three astronauts have a living and working space of about 50 cubic meters. When it's completed, the China Space Station will weigh less than 70 tons, much lighter than the 400-ton International Space Station. We the ISS is nearing the end of its life. It was designed to last until 2024 and should be out of service by 2028. China will become the only play in town for a while until the United States returns with the ambitious Artemis program. An essential part of this plan is called the Gateway. NASA says it will be an orbiting outpost to support activities on the surface and a staging post for deep space exploration. Turning American astronauts to the moon. We can see that there is a, a certain policy of constraint uh, and confinement from, uh, from US. But we're capable of putting everything together by a single nation without the interference of international policies. Uh, but in fact, we do have many collaboration with uh, international partners, including NASA in the areas of lunar explorations and, and Mars uh, communications and many other sectors. Applications have poured in for over 1,000 experiments on the China Space Station. European and Chinese astronauts are training together for future missions. The Tiangong will not be the end of China's space exploration. Astronauts may soon be on board a new generation of spacecraft which will replace the current Shenzhou series. The first test flight was in May 2020. The new two-module spacecraft is reusable and can ferry up to seven passengers to and from space. But will Chinese astronauts land on the moon? The station is designed for decades to come, so I don't want to exclude the possibilities once you have the competence and capability of launch vehicles. We also want to see all possibilities of international collaborations, uh, in particular in lunar and Mars exploration. I, I think to, to get it done by a single country is very ambitious, and to, to have international collaboration, we can go much further.